first want to wish everybody, I hope you guys all had a awesome Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever holiday you celebrate for the season. I hope it was awesome. And for all my Avon representative friends out there, I hope you are ready and already been planning and gearing up for your new cycle. We just started with campaign one, the brand new 2015 cycle. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to make sure I did this year is I've always had a rolling cart for my car, but it's never been quite organized as enough as I would like it to be. And I had looked on the market, I've been on Amazon, I've been on eBay, I've looked at makeup specialty stores, and of course they have the awesome rolling train cases. Um, but for what we need with Avon representatives where we're carrying lots of books and we have kits to carry and we have um, you know, flyers and different things that we wanna use and little samples, some of the train cases work and some of them were just way too big for me. So I came with, a, with an idea, it's kind of a hodgepodge way to put it together, but it's something that anybody can put together. Um, and I did it over this last weekend and I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you and uh, hopefully you can run out to the store also and buy these pieces and put it together and make it your own and you will have a awesome rolling cart for your vehicle. This is the new so Avon rolling cart that I've put together. Um, it's on a very old standard rolling box type cart that you can get from your office depot um, or business supply store. So it does fold up if you need it to. But what I've done is, and it's a little old and raggedy, but I have dressed it up with my little Say Yes to Avon license plate. And then the top part is just a tackle box that I have bungee corded around the bottom. So I'm gonna show you what's inside the tackle box and how I organized it. Um, and I'm gonna try not to be shaky. And then I'll show you what's in the cart and how this comes all apart. So let me try to scoot up here without being shaky. So the top part here, the very top, like I said, I'm gonna try to move. I've affixed with Velcro a bag for either money or business cards, and then I have my little calculator. I have brushes on the left, I have some samples, and then I have more coming. I have like a whole bunch of foundations and um, you know, different type box items, and whatever doesn't fit, I have another organizational thing that I will keep in my car for kind of overflow but this is perfect from going to office to office. So that's what's inside the top part. And then it has two containers on both sides. So I've added additional business cards as well as some samples for easy access right on the top. And those snap close. And then the other side, same thing. Just some more samples. Um, got a little sprayer here of Femme. Okay, oh gosh, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Okay, so this just snaps off, so it's very secure, and of course this comes right off the cart. This part was what I was in love with because I looked at several different tackle boxes and didn't see any that had this great organization. I wish they were bigger. Some of them had too small of a place. So this is my foundation one. I'm gonna take it out up here. So I'm getting um, all the little mini samples again, like the fresh ones, and I've got some in these slots here. But like on this side, I will have all the little minis that they're selling right now in the what's new. So they will all be there, the little um, trial sizes. But there's little um, containers, so they're big enough to stick some of your other samples of foundation right here in this cart. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm sorry if this is at all shaky. I'm trying to film this one-handed. What I like about this is that it slides right into there. Okay, and then the second one slides right out. This is the lips one, and I won't open it, but as you can see, I've got a lot of my glaze wares. I'm waiting for more glaze wares, some lip balms, and some samples in there. Slides right in. And then my bottom one is going to be all eyes, and I'm waiting for more of my mascaras. I've got um, glimmer sticks. There'll be brow liners, so they'll all be kind of organized and ready for instant sales, which these are the things I find my customers need most is... Um, they're always asking, you know, do you have mascara, do you have eyeliners, like um, blackest black and cosmic brown, just like the, the standard items um, there. So this just opens and closes so easy and it just snaps right into place. Um, the I'm going to show you the side compartments here in a minute, but as you can see, I have a bungee cord holding this to the top of this cart. So I'm going to um, turn it around here. I'm going to show you. I've really dressed it up so the sides as I'm rolling along has that on this one side and then on the back side see I've got my handle up 
but I even put another ad. And then I found this handy for $7.97 at Walmart, and this is on with Velcro. So give me a second, I put this in my hand. Whoops, but you can see my cart's a mess. I probably need to clean it, but I figure it's covered up. So this is just a jewelry case that I've put together. As you can see, there's the Velcro, and then I'm not gonna open it, but as you can see, I've just put some jewelry that I've had um, that I can cart around. And you can use this for samples or whatever else you'd like to put in there, but I'm just using it for some jewelry that I'd like to get rid of. So um, that just fits right on the back of this with the Velcro straps, and I just stick it on. Of course, right now, like I said, I'm trying to do this on one handed, but it's got a nice handle. And then I may have to put this down to do the bungee cord part. The side here, Again, I kind of dress it up looking for recruits. So I've got the whole thing branded out. All right, let me turn it off so I can go ahead and undo this so you can see the inside of the cart. Okay, so the inside of the cart's just basic and I can add more things to it right now. I just have my standard brochures in the little basket. I have a little gift set in there. I have a candle and of course, we always carry our bath oil. And then I have fixed again, Velcro is your friend. This is a, um, a mark bag, an old mark bag. And I've affixed it to the front for easy access. I have my pen, I have a notepad, I have some uh, cards for tear off. There's some DVDs. Um, I've got some box samples and fragrance samples and then business cards. So it's just quick access stuff when somebody gives me a name, phone number, I've got it ready to go. And I've taken the tackle box off the top so it just comes off really easy. And here it is. And I. I looked at so many different ones, guys, and I thought if I ever need to carry this without the wheels, because they had bigger ones, and I was looking at some of the bigger ones, and I thought if I ever need to carry it without the wheels, I'm going to die. Um, so um, I decided to opt for the smaller one, plus the compartments on this one um, were a lot more beauty friendly. And this side, I just have some makeup remover, and as you can see, I always brand my products so that when they run out, they can come back for more. There's some little hand creams that I like to drop off. Um, to offices and they say, which I don't know how clear this is, compliments of your Avon lady with my name, phone number, and store. Um, so when I go to a new office, they always get like a free hand cream for me. There's makeup setting spray and a few other things. It's a good little size compartment on both sides. Uh, and then this side, I was able to fit an old, again, a beauty bag. And it's so cute. It just um, says beauty mark. And then on the inside, I've got fragrance samples and the, which I'm trying to be not so close here, fragrance samples and then the little scent card, which a lot of those we know that aren't even available anymore, but some of them are good. And that waits for quick access and that kind of just fit right inside that spot. I'm like, okay, that fits in there. So, and then you just close it up, which again, I'm trying to do this all one handed guys. And also it's like zoomed up really close here. So it does close, which I can't close right now because like I said, I'm trying not to kill you here with the videoing. Okay, and like I said, I just kind of branded this with some of the stickers that I got from Avon Signs and Decals. And I don't know how well they're going to stand because this is kind of has a, a, a bumpy texture to it. So we'll see if they stick well to it. I thought about sanding it first and then putting it on. But as you can see, um, it's a good size. I will back up. And then all I have to do is set it on my cart it's just kind of on there and then as you saw at the beginning I have a blue bungee cord that just goes around the back um, and around the front this cord right here I just affixed it around the whole thing and it holds it in place and you can wheel along your way like I said I need to clean off I think that tape but you can wheel around you've got your full I'm gonna go around the sun is coming in this room with your little case in the back so it has everything I need. I can tilt it. Again, there's no bungee on there. And just roll away to all the offices. And then it compacts and I can take each piece off and put it right in my back of my truck. Um, and uh, you know, you can carry kits in there. Right now I'm using it for mostly samples and products. But if I'm going to be out out and you want to have it just mobile, ready to go, um, you can carry your kits, your try it kits, um, you know, anything that you'd like to carry for your business. I have a whole other uh, big carry thing that stays in my car at all times and has um, more of my paperwork. But of course, again, this, this bin part, you can fit quite a bit in there, folders or whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll take some of these tips. Um, I got the tackle box at Academy. And again, the bottom portion you can get from 
um, any office supply store and then of course um, if you have the little fabric bags just get some velcro that's all that's holding on there is the double-sided velcro um, to just kind of customize so have a great day guys good luck in your 2015 ventures i hope you're preparing and getting ready to get out there and sell share and show everybody how to make money with avon have a blessed day bye